Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about cordyceps, the caterpillar parasite, other known as caterpillar fungus. What are some of the forms? What are some of the benefits of taking cordyceps? And how much should you take? So let's get right into it. Cordyceps is harvested in the Tibetan mountains between April and June. And the reason that happens is because this fungus attaches to the head of a caterpillar and around that time it comes to the surface where the fungus will release spores uh, and basically uh, reproduce. So around that time they can see in the ground that little piece of the fungus and people will have to get that by hand because they don't want to break it uh, or um, have the fungus come apart. So they actually harvest it by hand between April and June. So if you actually look at it, you can see this caterpillar and you have this little fungus growing right on top of the head, okay? So that is called cordyceps senescus. And to harvest it by hand, because of the limitations, one kilogram is equivalent to $20,000 or $25,000. So the commercial products that are available on the market today is not this form. It's just too expensive, right? The form that most people are taking is called Cordyceps Militaris. It is cultivated and it has high levels of what we call cordyceptins. Okay, I'll get that, I'll get into it a little bit later about what cordyceptins is. Cordyceps CS4 is grown through a liquid fermentation process. So that's another form that's commercially available. Another one is called mycelium on grain, and this one has less cordyceptins, but it's also commercially available. What are some of the active ingredients? It's polysaccharides, cordyceptins, nucleotides, ergosteroids, and adenosine. And I'll get into what these do in terms of health benefits, okay? So, what does this fungi do? The benefits. Improves energy endurance. In 1993, there were a bunch of Chinese runners who were breaking records, right? World records on their running uh, times. And they were not on steroids, they were actually taking cordyceps. Right? It improved their endurance and energy. Another thing it does is it increases oxygen capacity by improving nitric oxide in our system. Nitric oxide helps to open up the blood vessels, increases circulation. Number three, lung health. Gets rid of the mucus, decreases oxidative stress. So it's good for things like asthma, lung infection, COVID. Number four, increase ATPs or energy, right? ATP is basically energy of the cells. So an active ingredient is called adenosine in cordyceps, which is part of A, right, of ATP. It's also an adaptogen, so you will find cordyceps in a lot of adaptogenic herbs for adrenal function. What that means is that if your adrenals are functioning too low, it will bring it up. If it's functioning too high, it will help balance it out. So it works like an adaptogenic herb. Number six immune function. There's something called beta-glucans in there and it enhances natural killer cell activity. Helps to kill off infections, right? Viruses. Number seven, it's antiviral. The cordyceptins is what's predominantly antiviral in cordyceps. Helps to improve libido, increases circulation, and there's been some anecdotal um, evidence that it improves testosterone, so it helps improve libido. So if you look at this, you go, hmm, improves energy, oxygen, right? Energy, again, ATP. No wonder it helps runners or endurance athletes, okay? Also, it helps lungs, reduces the mucus, it's antiviral. No wonder it's been very uh, helpful in terms of fighting the pandemic, okay? So we look at all these sub, um, benefits in here, and how do we take it? Okay. 
Oftentimes you'll find these in adrenal and lung support um, supplementation. One to 2,000 milligrams per day is what's typically recommended. Obviously you can go higher with the recommendation of your doctor. Oftentimes because it helps improve energy, some people will benefit from taking it in the morning versus the evening because if it does improve energy for you, you definitely want to take it in the morning. Or you can actually work, use it as a pre-workout. So before going on a, a long endurance run uh, or hard workouts, you can go ahead and take it as a pre-workout in a pre-energy mix. So all the benefits are here. You can go ahead and give it a try. Again, use a qualified provider to help you along with it uh, because it is a herb uh, and you want to be careful with it. However, the long-term studies have shown that there are um, not a lot of side effects uh, from taking cordyceps. All right, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.